it transcends all the way from the top of the Mary Prize. That dream book that says that you are a human being who dreams is such a powerful message in and of itself. The problem, ladies and gentlemen, is that we do not believe that we are individual, specific human beings. We are inside of the social security syndrome in the United States of America. We're just about numbers, but you're not. You are a specific individual human being with incredible prospect and opportunity. Let me share with you in closing that there is a story told. See, a king who had dominion over a huge kingdom had no heirs, he had no children. So this king, ladies and gentlemen, called his advisors, and he said to his advisors, find me 10 people, bring them here. He did so. They seated in a conference round a table. The king stood up, and the king said, here's the deal. This magnificent, majestic kingdom will go to the person who grows me the most magnificent garden. I hand each of you a pouch with seeds in it. Take these seeds and plant your garden. I'm giving you 12 months. I will come back at the end of that 12 month period. Whoever's garden is the most magnificent will be king. They do so. Everyone is busy at work. They just plow out there. They are at Home Depot and Pikes and they're getting nutrients and stuff and they're growing gardens. And this one is busy, busy, busy. One guy puts his seeds in, prepares his soil, toils, puts his seed in. Nothing comes up. A week, two weeks, three weeks, nothing's up. He thinks there's a problem with the, the, the land. It's not getting enough sun. So he moves to a different area, puts his seed in, waters, nourishes, stuff, things going on. Not a thing happening. Two weeks, two months, four months, six months, nothing. Everyone else's garden, booming. Unbelievable. This one's being featured on Vogue magazine. This one's being featured, yeah, garden and home. It's unbelievable gardens, just nurturing and blooming forth. Ten-month mark, nothing. Comes to the 12-month mark. It's the big day, folks. The king and his entire entourage call them back in. Very simple. Whoever's garden is the most magnificent will become king. That's the deal. They start taking a tour of all these gardens individually. One is more magnificent than the next. Absolutely exquisite. They come to this gentleman's garden. There is not a thing there. It's barren. People burst out in laughter. It's an abomination. Not a thing has grown. They come back into the palace. They sit down around this table. The king says, sir, and he points out this gentleman whose garden did not come up. He says, stand up. He stands up. He says, you will be king. People are aghast. They can't believe it. You're kidding me. This guy whose garden didn't come up. The king says, you all know that I handed you a pouch of seeds. But I boiled those seeds in boiling water before I handed them to you. Seeds that have been boiled cannot grow. You switched them out for other seeds. The only one that worked with what I gave him was this gentleman over here. He will be king. We are consistently looking to trade in our specific tooling, our particular abilities for something else. We're always looking to import things from the outside to make ourselves what we think we need to be. I want to suggest to you that you are built for success just as you are because God doesn't make no junk. If you are sucking oxygen into your lungs, you are good to go. Identify it, touch it, own it, and take it with you. 
into one of the most exciting historical periods in financial planning, perhaps for the next 20 to 30 years. How privileged you are to be sitting in this position with a company of the magnitude of a Merry Prize Financial. A company that is committed to the human being, to the dream. Ladies and gentlemen, I say to you, enjoy the ride, connect with it, and may God bless you and may God bless America. Thank you so much.